everybody. So today we're going to be starting off with ratios and proportional relationships. Okay, so number one, a local thrift store sold 15 shirts in three hours. Which of the following ratios is equivalent to the ratios of hours to shirts sold? Show your work. Okay, so first of all, uh, you need to know what ratio they're asking for. They're asking for uh, hours to shirts, okay? And so hours would be three hours right here, three hours. So it's three, three goes first, okay? And then shirts is second, okay? Shirts is last. There are 15 shirts. So it's three to 15. Okay, you have to make sure uh, you get this right because if you didn't look at the this last bit and just looked at the first uh, sentence, 15 shirts in three hours, you might have done 15-3, but they're asking for 3-15. Okay, so now you want to reduce this. You divide everything by three because they're both divisible by three. So you get one and five, okay? And so the answer would be B. So uh, just make sure that you know what the question is asking for. It's asking for the ratios of hours to shirts. So it's one five, not five one. Okay, number two, the values in the table below are proportional. Fill in the missing numbers and be sure to show your work. Okay, so thir uh, 30 candies to two bags is the same thing as 15 to one. Okay, and it's said that it's proportional. So you just wanna check uh, if everything's proportional. Uh, basically, that means that uh, if you divide everything by 7, you should be able to get 15 and 1, okay? So over here, it's 1, obviously. And then this would be 1, 3, 5, and then 15 to 1, okay? So just one more time, you divide everything by 9, divide this by 9, okay? You get 1 here, and here it's 1, then 45, so you get 15 again. Okay, so now you know that the ratio is 15 to 1. So 15 times x is equal to 60, and 1 times x is equal to, uh, is equal to whatever this is. Okay, let's just call it y. And so 15 times x would be, uh, x would be 4, because 15 times 4 is 60, which means that 1 times 4 equals 4, so y is equal to 4 or our missing number, which is, yeah, 4. Okay, uh, on to the next section. The next section is just more ratios and proportional relationships, but different, okay, with percent with percentages. A box of 600 bulbs contains 3% of improper bulbs. How many improper bulbs are, are there in a box? Okay, 3% is just the ratio 3 to 100, okay? Where for every 100 light bulbs, there are three improper light bulbs. Okay, and now it's asking for a box of 600 light bulbs, which means you just have to multiply by 6, multiply by 6. So you get 600 bulbs in total, and the amount of improper bulbs inside that is 3 times 6, which is 18. Okay, which means that there are going to be 18 improper bulbs. Number 5, fill in the missing number using ratios and proportional relationships. 70% or 70 over 100 of something of x is equal to 98, okay? So uh, if it says of, then it goes at the bottom. And if it says is, then it goes at the top, okay? That's just a rule of thumb that you guys should remember whenever you're doing proportional relationships like this. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, divide by 10. So you get 7 over 10 is equal to 98, and then you want to divide by 7 here, divide by 7 here to get 1, 28, 4. So 7 times 14 is equal to 98. Okay, and then you want to just cross multiply. X is equal to 140. So 70% of 140 is equal to 98. Okay, on to the next section for real this time. The number system, Mary served nine pounds of salad in bowls of three uh, three quarters pound each. How many bowls did she serve? Okay, so if each bowl is three fourths of a pound and she served nine pounds in total, then you just need to see uh, what nine 
divided by 3 fourths is. Okay. 9 over 1 divided by 3 over 4, which is just the same as 9, uh, 9 over 1 times 4 over 3. Okay, times 4 over 3, and then you want to reduce like this, 3 multiply across 12. So Mary served 12 bowls of salad. Number 2, a worm is 2 thirds of a foot long. How many inches long is the worm? So one foot is 12 inches, and then you just need to multiply it by two thirds, okay? So it's 12 over one times two over three, divide this, divide this, four times two is eight, it's eight inches long. Two thirds of 12 is eight. Number three, four jewelers shared equally three quarters kilograms of silver. How much silver did each of them get? So it's four, and then sharing equally means division. No, wait, no, no, no. okay, sorry about that. Actually, what's happening is that you're taking three fourths of a kilogram of silver and you're dividing it by four, okay? Because it needs to be split among four different people. You take the three-fourths kilograms and you divide by four, which we know is actually just multiplying by one-fourth. Multiplying by one-fourth and then multiply across, you get three over 16. Everybody gets three 16 kilograms of silver. Okay, on to the next section which is expressions and equations. There are n passages, passengers in each of three trains. The total number of passengers is 3n, which expression also represents the total number of passengers. Be sure to show your work. Okay, um, if there are n passengers in one train, there are three trains, that's just three times n. But n is also n plus n plus n. That's just basic math. Yeah, or it could be there's one train, two train, three train, and if each train has n passengers in it, then you just need to add these together, and then you get n plus n plus n. Okay, uh, number two, find an expression that's equivalent to the expression below. Uh, in this one, you just want to um, distribute, so 6 times 1 third is 2x, and then it's negative 0.5 is actually just negative one half okay and then you multiply by six to get negative three so 2x minus three that would be an equivalent expression okay that's it for this week have a nice day